Hey everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV and I'm going to show you the new Lance 2465 lightweight trailer. It's 29 feet in length, weighs about 6,000 pounds, has a California king bed. It's beautiful. Stick around, I'll show you all the details. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we thank you for your comments. All right, now let's get started. Hey everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft and I just walked in the new Lance 2465 trailer. Now as you walk in, the first thing you notice is this beautiful J sofa here. Um, it's very soft, this leatherette material is what you'll find on the sofa no matter what interior package you choose. So what you'll notice, this is a 48 by 72 bed when you make it into a bed. Uh, it's got seating for probably about four people, very comfortable around the back, but gives you a nice view of the 40 inch television. I love the comfort features that they've put around this. You have actually a side table on both sides. It's small, but it's enough to put a, a cup of coffee or something like that. Uh, you do have the USB and the 12 volt ports along with a 110 plug on both sides of this sofa here. Um, let's talk about the windows. There's windows on three sides, which makes it feel very open, but they've changed the shades in the 2019s. So instead of a standard pleated day-night shade, most of the windows will have a darker shade screen that comes down for daytime, and it, you just give it a pull and it retracts back up but then you've also got a privacy blind that pulls down. So that's a nice feature. Then they go up and out of the way. Uh, of course, this is the double paned window that Lance is famous for. All of the windows in the Lance trailers are double paned. That's gonna help you in cool weather and in hot weather. The windows actually crank out pretty easy. I love the fact that you can leave them open when it's raining or drizzling. You can still get nice airflow and they close up. You can actually pull this little handle out and they close up very easily. There you go. Nice feature. Now this beautiful big picture window on the front is a little different. It has more of a standard shade in it. You can pull it down. That's the blackout shade. And then here is your day shade. All righty, because that's a front curved window, uh, you, these pull down shades don't work as well. So that front one is a little different. I love the aerodynamic front on this and it, it just makes you feel very cozy in this little nook here. Uh, very soft, very comfortable. It is a jackknife sofa on this piece. So take a look and we'll show you what that looks like at the end of the video. When you lift this up halfway, you do have a little storage under the seat that you could utilize. So that's also a bonus. Okay, well, let's come around and let's take a look at the controls right here by the door. So at the entrance to this Lance 2465, we have the sofa on the right, the kitchen on the left, and then the controls on the side of the upper cabinet. This has both awning controls and then lighting switches here the slide out room control for the dinette slide out. Remember there's two slide outs, so we'll show you the other one in just a minute. Now the next question, why two awnings? Well, the outside of this trailer, remember Lance does the no armed awnings. So by putting two in, it allows a shorter awning to cover your entrance door area and then a larger awning to cover the rear area. And so the entire trailer is covered and they're very stable with no arms. Awesome. They also have the wind retract on it, so if the wind kicks up, they pull in. I'll show you those later. Down here, these light switches, you've got the mood lighting, which is the recess lighting above the slide out. Courtesy lighting, that is always an entrance light as you walk in the door. For this one, it's the one right above me, so you can see this goes on and off. When you walk into a dark trailer, you know that you can get a light on so you can find your way around. 
uh, the awning light. Now remember Lance does the awning light at the end of the tube, not up against the trailer. So it lights up your entire area under your awning. That's nice. And then the patio light. Down below on the side of the base cabinets, you've got a little cubby here. You know, Lance never misses an opportunity to give you a little more storage space. 110 plug, the key holder. Below that, the fire extinguisher, and this is your converter. So it actually is going to have your breakers and fuses in it. Easy access to those. And a heater vent on the side. While we're here, let's look at the actual entrance door because they have a clear cover here so you can see your handle. You can see if you've got your uh, deadbolt lock on. And uh, you've got a shade that's going to cover this window. Lance provides a shade for every window in the trailer. This is very simple. You just pull it down and you clip it in and it retracts right back up. Okay, now let's take a look at the dinette and the kitchen area. Okay, so the kitchen of this Lance 2465 I think is very easy to work with. It feels very open. I love the big counter space here, but underneath you've got a big rectangular sink and over here you've got a trash can. So let's take a peek underneath. There is a trash can underneath and of course this lifts out and you can empty it easily. So you could use it for trash, you could use it for fruit, just about anything. I've seen people use those for wet bathing suits if you're at the beach. You've got a nice arched faucet here with a pull-out sprayer. You can actually get, uh, make it have a spray or a standard faucet. Single handle. Underneath, let's take a look at the sink. Big one-piece rectangular sink. It looks to me to be about eight inches deep. Lots of room to work with there. And when you're not using the sink, these just go right back on and you get full counter space. Another way to use counter space is by having a flat glass top stove. This one has the nice glass top feature. To get to it, you just fold it back. There is your three burner stove. The one piece grill that's easy to pop out and clean underneath it. Uh, the front of this has changed from what you may have seen before in the Lances. You've got an, an upgraded Dometic uh, oven and controls. Again, just like the other stoves, you will be turning this to light and then you have a sparker over here. I love the silver knobs. This will be your oven on this side. Take a look at the oven space. Okay, could cook Thanksgiving here if you really wanted to. Lots of people go camping for Thanksgiving. All right, the storage, two cabinets here. Let's start with this one. That hose that you see underneath is for the uh, winterizing system that's mounted under there. Your water pump is going to be behind there, and that's why the winterizing system is on it. Above, you've got more cabinet storage space here and the drawers to the left. If you've watched other videos, you know I'm a big fan of drawers because I think it gives you easy access to some of the things that you need. Easy to pack, easy to reach. I love the residential dove style on them. Dovetail. And the soft closed drawers. Do you see that? The nice aluminum handles. Oops, there you go. Okay. Let's go over here. They, they give this a, a Euro style cabinet is what they call it. When you lift it open, it stays completely out of your way. It's almost as tall as the ceiling. Did I mention this is six foot six inches in height on the inside? So it feels pretty spacious and works well for tall people. Cabinet up here, I mean a shelf up here. You see that there is a plug. If you wanted to pull this shelf out, you could put a little small electronic something up here. Plug it in up there. Recess lighting underneath. And soffit lighting above it. I always mention the lighting in Lance trailers because they set it up so you can have so many options for lighting. If all you needed was to light this up a little bit so that you could work up here, 
the recessed and the Sofitel lighting is great. If you needed more lighting, you've got all kinds of ceiling lighting that can give you that. You've got, the, of course, the light and the fan on the hood vent here. I love the microwave is not got a turntable in it. Can you see that? Flat floor microwave is what they call it. So you don't have to worry about that glass plate rattling around. To the right over here, this unit particularly has the option on it for the 170 watt solar panel. This is the controller for the solar panel. Below that, you've got your water pump, your water heater switches, and the tanks. There is a gas water heater and an electric. The, the monitor will also tell you the black gray, the battery, the fresh water, all of that. Galley lights right here. Remember I mentioned those Sofitel lights and the strip lights. That's what these are right there. Now I love the stainless steel front on the refrigerator as well. And it's got plenty of space in it here. Let's open the freezer. There you go. And this is a two-way refrigerator. It'll be very efficient. Great kitchen here. Let's take a look at the dinette. So the dinette area in this Lance 2465 turns into a bed, as you might expect. It has the standard push-down table, the wonderful Lance globes that are dimmable. You know, sometimes when I'm camping and it's really dark, I just need a little light, not a really bright light above my head. So that's dimmable to whatever uh, a level you would like. You've got the windows on all three sides, recessed lighting above it. Let me show you how this table works. You just unclip underneath and then you give it a push and it goes down to make the bed. You pull these cushions over. When you're done and you want to make a dinette again, you just pull it straight up and flip over the handle underneath and that locks it into place. It is so simple. You notice it has a flat floor on it and the pullout drawer handles, I think, just add a very nice touch, but they're so functional. So when you want to pull out the drawer, you can just pull it out. Now my first inclination is to push the button and pull the handle, but that's not it at all. When the button is out, it's unlocked, and when you push the button in, that actually locks the drawer into place, so when you're traveling, it won't come open on you. Wonderful feature, beautiful functional dinette. Let's come around to the entertainment center here. You've got a nice ledge. 40 inch 12 volt television. Beautiful view from almost anywhere in this living area. The shelf here is very usable. 110 plug on one side. Underneath you have the Jensen uh, stereo. It is a Bluetooth uh, DVD player. It has a uh, USB port on it. Uh, it has three zone speakers of course. So you've got speakers in the living area, speakers in the bedroom and then a set outside so you can have music wherever you want it. Right next to that, this cabinet opens up. You can see you've got satellite connections as well as a regular uh, 110 plug in there. And this unit has the optional fireplace. It is an electric fireplace, although it can put out some heat. So if you would like to have just the fireplace, you can. If you want some heat coming out, it just not only adds the ambiance, but it also gives you a little electric heat. Take the chill off in a cool night. Now it's not going to be as, uh, as much heat as the 25,000 BTU furnace, but it does take the chill off as a night's nice feature for the fireplace. Up in the ceiling, this is the smoke alarm, and in front of that, this is going to be the digital TV antenna. This is the one that's designed to spin. You pinch it and turn this handle right here, and that actually dials in the best digital signal for any local TV stations. Uh, that's a, it makes it simple to watch TV, catch up on the local news. The other things that you'll see on the ceiling that we haven't talked about yet, the air conditioner for the living area. There's a skylight course with a closure that you can pull close so you can black it out completely and then behind that there is the uh, fantastic fan 
So if you'd like to just create a breeze in here, you can do that. Open your windows, turn on your fan. It's going to pull the air out, create a nice breeze in this living area. This is such a beautiful feel in here, but let's move on, take a look at the bathroom, and then we'll take a look at that king size bed. So this trailer has the sink and the storage area separate from the toilet and the shower. The hallway runs in between. So in looking at this sink area in the bathroom, you've got a nice light up top with the mirror. Storage here. Very nice storage in there. Very impressive on a corner cabinet. I love the single mount, very clean lined faucet here. Uh, the residential faucets that Lance uses are just wonderful. Undermount sink, it is round, a little space around it, and some countertop space to the left. I love the natural lighting in here so that when you're looking in the mirror, you can actually see a little natural light instead of this weird inside lighting. The blinds on this, let's see if I can show them to you. They're silver and they're actually mini blinds on this guy. The storage underneath. You do have some ducting running on the bottom part of that, but storage on the top, a 110 plug here. And then to the left of that, this is a hamper. Can you get a shot of that? That's very cool. All right. The storage on the side room for towels, personal items. And then underneath, you have three drawers. So much storage right here in this pass-through. Let's see if we can take a look in at the toilet and the shower area. Walking in this way, Lance uses a porcelain toilet they last longer, they're so easy to clean, they actually come perfectly clean, so it's just like being at home. You've got a nice shower area, the gray solid shower curtain that's gonna pull open. You notice the top part is rounded, so when you're in it, the shower feels much more spacious. One-piece shower surround, which is very nice. Very comfortable uh, showering area in this trailer. Towel rack on the left, and then a cabinet in the back. Power vent in the top, and a skylight, of course, in the shower area. Very comfortable area here with the majority of your storage on the outside of the showering area. So this area can be completely closed off. Now you have sliding doors on both sides of this bathroom. So let me show you this one. Unpins right here and slides closed. All right, let's get into the bedroom area and show you all these great details Lance has added there. Okay, so walking into this bedroom, the first thing you'll notice is the California King. It is 72 inches wide, 84 inches long. Now a standard queen is only 80 inches long, so this gives you a lot more space at the end, plus the king size width. Now on the sides, you've got nightstands with a countertop, a nice personal cubby on the side underneath, and then on the front of each one of them, is a 110 plug, two USB ports, and a 12 volt plug in. Great space for each person on each side of the bed. I love this rear picture window. Gives you a nice open space in the back wall of the camper. You know, you would think that with such a large bed, the storage space would be hard to get to, but it is so easy. This mattress has wonderful gas props on it, lifts like a dream and it has a finished out storage space underneath. You can see some of the aluminum framing. You know, of course, this is an aluminum framed camper, composite sides, 
they use Asdel, so it's basically mold and mildew resistant. Just a beautiful build on the part that you can't see in this trailer. Let's take a look at another spectacular feature. On this side of the bedroom, beautiful window, nice countertop. You'll see four storage drawers across the front, hanging space on both sides. Now on the left hand side, there are three drawers and on the right, another cabinet. I like the space underneath this counter. You can put baskets, you can use it for storage, or you could also put a stool under here, use it as a vanity. More storage up above. This is the only Lance trailer with two air conditioners. So you've got an air conditioner just for the bedroom and another one in the living area. But the most spectacular feature is the television. This 40 inch Jensen 12 volt television is built into the cabinet. It's just a great feature to have because when it's down, you have full countertop space. But if you wanna watch TV in the bedroom, just push the button. It does, it's a one push, a one touch button. So all you have to do is touch it. The bedroom, com bedroom TV comes up. There is also a remote. So if you're going to sleep and you want to put the TV away, you can push the button and the TV goes down or up depending on what you need. Very simple. Now these drawers are a little shallow. See if we can get a shot of that. And the reason for that is because you've got the television compartment behind it. But again, four drawers and they are a soft close. Very easy to work with. So much storage in this bedroom. Now let's take a look at some of the small details in here that you might want to see. So a few features you might want to know about. The reading lights above the bed, always convenient. And over here are the controls as you walk in the door to the right. This controls the lights, the controls for the air conditioner for this specific area, and then the slide out controls right here on the right when you walk in the room. Of course, when this bed comes in, it goes underneath this dinette area. So you would need to put the slide out out to walk in front of this king size bed. On the other side is the standard household plug and there's one on each side of this storage area, this vanity area. The button above it is going to lift and retract the television. It is in simple one touch to get the television to come up. For safety reasons, you do have to hold the button down to make the TV retract all the way or use the remote control and hold the button down. Very simple to use. So many features. I hope I've hit all of the important ones for you. If not, please let us know. We'll be able to answer those individually. Now let's take a look outside of this Lance 2465. So now we're on the outside of the Lance 2465 and double step entry. You've got the keyless lock, swing out assist handle, makes it easy to get in and out of these trailers. You'll notice it's got the Four Seasons certified all weather sticker on it. Because this trailer is made with insulated exterior but heated and enclosed holding tanks, you've got dual pane windows, it is good for very cold weather and it's very comfortable in very hot weather as well. So remember that Four season certification. It's a great feature on the Lance trailers. Frameless windows, very nice feature because it's dual paned window, but it's not a clamp ring so that it's very durable over time and a lot less opportunity to get any leaks. Water heater is located right here. Of course, remember it's gas and electric. The switches are inside. Next to that, this will be your freshwater tank fill. Underneath, you'll see the low point drains. 
The switches will be on the inside if you wanted to drain your hoses. 25,000 BTU furnace, the back of the refrigerator. Every RV refrigerator needs venting. Let's take a look in here. Another little storage place for you. Another feature on Lance is that they use Goodyear tires and they're nitrogen filled with nice aluminum rims. Uh, very nice feature with the nitrogen, they're gonna not expand and contract like they would with regular air. Goodyear tires, they do a great job. Outside shower, hot and cold. This is your TV connections right there. Can you see that? It's for plugging in your TV. And this as well, you've got the USB ports and the 12 volt. Because right above it, we're gonna show you the bracket that comes with it that hooks onto your outside uh, connection for a television. Now, if you wanted to put a TV outside here under the awning, you mount this to the back of a television and it clips right in. It's easy to put on and off like that. This connects to the television. This is the mount that stays on the outside for hooking your television on. If you like to watch TV under the awning, very easy to put back on. You just clamp it back on like that. Now this is a good time to take a look at the awnings. We've got a large awning on the back, smaller awning on over the door because you want very stable awnings to go out because these are no arm awnings. They don't have annoying arms that are going to come across and be right here. We'll show you some pictures. Uh, and they also have a wind sensor on them. So when you give it a little tug with the wind, it senses it, it goes right back in. So it, it uh, stops the awnings from being flipped over or damaged when the wind gets high, if you're not right there to put them in. And did we mention there's also a light on these awnings? It is on the outside, so this entire area can have a beautiful ambiance with the light on your awning. So coming around to the back of the Lance 2465, the large window that's in the rear of the trailer is what makes that bedroom feel so open and airy. You've got the fat tube ladder here, very sturdy, and it leads up to easy access on the PVC roof. The PVC roof, the best style of roof you can have, and it has 12 year warranty. So we wanted to show you the roof of this Lance 2465. So you could see the optional ladder rack, great for kayaks, for any extra storage that you have, and the optional 170 watt solar panel. Great feature to keep your batteries charged as you're camping or going down the road. You can see this unit has two air conditioners, one in the front living area, one in the back bedroom area, so you have two zone air conditioning. Up in the front, the fantastic fan is gonna create a breeze in that living room, even if you're not running the AC. Two skylights, one in the bathroom and the shower, the other one up front in the living area, and over here, another vent fan for the bathroom. Such a great trailer. And you know what, it is a full walk on roof. You have the uh, PVC roof material, 12 year warranty. It's a great trailer. Let's continue our tour. Backup camera is an option and we do have it on this one. I love the four inch bumper here and underneath, can you get a shot of the utility hitch? That is an option, but it allows you to put a bike rack or maybe a storage tray back here if you needed that. Walking around on the side, you can see the LED lights on your way. Let's, this is the bedroom slide, but let's look underneath here. What you're seeing here is the drain for the black tank. In front of that, underneath, we've got the drain for the gray tank and the drain for the fresh water tank. It is all using pulls for that one outlet. You can see the white and the gray handles telling you which one is which. Okay, this is the plug-in. Now this is the 50 amp trailer. It is the only trailer that Lance makes right now that has the 50 amp plug-in. So this cord is a little different, does have a light on the top so you can see if you're getting power through it. And underneath, you have satellite hookup 
for if you're at the park and they have satellite. The freshwater city connection here, and then the black tank flush next to that. All right, let's move around, take a look at the storage in this slide out. This is the dinette slide out. Two storage compartments here, one on each side of the seating. I love the magnetic catches, so they open easily and they close easily. In front of that, another storage compartment here, and it's also got the battery disconnect switch in it. And underneath, another little storage space that's great for any type of outside pieces that you'll be carrying, anything that might get dirty that you'd like to hide in there. This folds up and locks into place. The dual battery compartment is right next to that. Again, all of these are held open by the magnetic catches, so these can just close easily. Switches on both sides of the front for the electric stabilizer jacks. It is an option, but we have it on this trailer. This trailer, by the way, with all the options that you're seeing, weighs a little over 6,300 pounds. It can weigh under 6,000 if you don't have all the options, but this one is pretty well loaded, so 6,354 is the weight on this specific trailer that I'm showing you. Around the front, the smart jack actually can be programmed to the height that you need it to be at to set your, to back under it. So that way when you just push it in a certain sequence, it's going to raise up and be the right height for your vehicle. You don't have to guess or try to see if you're tall enough. And then you can push the button and program it to just drop down and retract all the way. Really easy to use, such a convenience to have. But the thing that is unique to Lance is the Tri-5 Propane. Let me show you how that works. So the Tri-5 Propane allows you to have three propane tanks on board at all times. The back two are going to be working with your automatic switchover so that you will actually be using those. But your third one is going to be your spare that you can switch out at any time if you need to refill one or want to go a little bit longer if you're boondocking. Great feature to have and a wonderful ABS cover over the top of it so they stay clean and dry but very accessible. So the aerodynamic front of this trailer is very nice looking but to add to that there are these nice LED lights in the front on each side and that allows you to have a little light up here in the evening if you're hooking up or unhooking in the evening and it just adds a little class to the front of the trailer, don't you think? Now coming around back to the entrance door, last but not least, what you'll see here is the other side of your electric uh, stabilizer jacks. This will move the, the two on this side up and down and if you're boondocking and you'd like to keep your batteries charged, you can have a plug-in solar there, the portable solar's plug-in right there. That will keep your battery charged so that so much of this trailer will work off your batteries. Great feature. All right, well, we're back around to the front of the trailer. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, please give me a call. Uh, remember, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more walkthrough videos and give us a call. We're glad to answer your questions anytime. Thanks for watching.